Randy, every time I meet you, I always say this because you're always doing something interesting and different and you always have a new venture. You're kind of like the epitome of the entrepreneur. So talk to me about your latest. You guys have a show coming out. What's the premise? Quit your day job, coming out on oxygen. I think this show really embodies a lot of what I've been thinking about and working on the last two years. You know, I'm very passionate about women entrepreneurs, helping women, inspiring women in business. So on this show, you get to follow the entrepreneurial journey of hopeful entrepreneurs who want to quit their day job. And at the end of each episode, our panel of investors tells them if they're going to get enough money to be able to quit their day job. What is really interesting about the show is oftentimes it's very cutthroat. It's very you're in, you're out in these kind of reality shows. You think of Shark Tank. But you guys do get to know a very personal side of the entrepreneur and you get to know the families. What was the, the thinking behind that? When I do a lot of angel investing off camera, in fact, most of my angel investing is off camera, and it's never so cut and dry when you're angel investing in someone. You never just tell someone, okay, stand in front of me for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna make a decision. Usually, you know the person, you're friends with them, you've been referred to them through someone, you have some kind of an emotional connection to that mm. person, which also guides your decision making. Making. So we really wanted to replicate that on the show. I mean, by the time you get to the end of the episode, we're all emotionally invested in these entrepreneurs. And uh, it's, quite frankly, it's heartbreaking when you have to look someone in the eye and say no to them of their business after you spend an hour getting to know them. A lot of folks want access to angel money. They want to get in front of people like you. So what advice do you give kind of budding entrepreneurs who want to quit their day job? I hope that people out there who are thinking, gosh, I wish that I could quit my day job, I just don't know how to do it, can turn to our show and get inspiration. My biggest piece of advice though to people is come in armed with data and numbers and statistics. A lot of people, especially women, they walk into a room and they use emotional qualifiers. They say, I'm gonna work really hard, or I really want this, or I really deserve this. And um, that makes me want to give them a hug or be their friend, it doesn't make me want to open my checkbook at the end of the day. It's the entrepreneurs who come in buttoned up, they can back up their pitch with data, that really gets me interested. What do you want people to get from this show? I want people to take a look at the show and realize that entrepreneurs look just like them. They look like anyone. You don't have to be what society's stereotype of an entrepreneur is. That's right, the young white dude in a hoodie in order to build a successful business in this country.